What if I told you there is one sleeping position that could eliminate your back pain? I've seen it happen. I'm going to show you what that is. I'm Dr. Sean, your PT guy, and our videos help you learn how to move better and stay independent so you can enjoy your life. Let's get started. Disclaimer! Now, before I teach you the sleeping position, let me explain a couple principles of what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to keep the spine in alignment. We're trying to keep our shoulders in line with our hips, in line with our knees, in line with our ankles. If we keep our spine in nice alignment, we're going to be okay. The moment we start crossing over or pushing our, our limbs together and we're pulling on muscles in the back, we're going to have prolonged pulling over the nighttime, which is going to lead to pain or not pain from that, but it's not going to be able to relax and just be in a relaxed state to recover, which our recovery happens when we sleep. So you want everything to be in nice alignment when we're sleeping so that when we're resting, all of those hormones, all those things can repair our body. We can fill up the, our discs a little bit more with some water when we stand up, when we get up. These are all helpful things that are going to be helpful for when we keep our spine in alignment when we're in the bed. So how do we actually do that? So first of all, I'm going to show you on my shirt when I'm going to turn around in a moment, but we're going to use two pillows, one for our legs, one for our arms, and actually we're still going to use a third main pillow. I didn't include that one. So three pillows total, which is a funny story I got to tell you about in a moment about that. But all that to say, we're going to use three pillows and we're going to have one between our knees and our ankles. I'll show you what I mean in a moment one over here between our arms and then one for our head. Basically doing all that is going to keep everything in nice alignment. Okay. So if I am sleeping and I'm laying down and my arms are together. So let me show you what happens with my back when I do that. So I'm going to turn around. Uh, if I'm like this, my shirt is nice and loose. You see how my shirt is loose there. But the moment I come in like this, I'm getting stretched. Can you see my shirt getting stretched like that? So if my shirt's getting stretched and I'm, those muscles are pulling, imagine what's happening deeper to the muscles and deeper, deeper towards the muscles that attach to the bones. So they're getting in the stretched position for the entire night. That's not going to allow it to be nice and relaxed and in a, a nice um, kind of a, a supple, relaxed state. Um, when they're, when our muscles are in a relaxed state, they're going to heal better. So we're going to put a pillow between our arms. And if you going back to this, if I have my hands like this, I'm getting stretched. But the moment I am like right here, this is nice and loose. Okay. So that's kind of the principles we're trying to establish. We're going to put a pillow here and a pillow down at our legs. I'll show you what happens um, in a moment, but um, let's show you the technique now. So now let's get into the sleeping position itself. We're going to use three pillows. We're going to sit on down. Let me get my decorative pillow out of the way here. And our bed, if you notice, I have two pillows on top of my regular pillow. And then my wife over there has two pillows on top of her regular pillow as well. And um, we're going to use, my wife uses it for a reason. I'll explain that in a moment, but um, we're going to use this pillow down by our legs and this pillow up top. So let me just get those guys there. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to sleep on your side or lay on your side. I'll just get these guys out of the way for us first. So when you sleep, when you lay down on your side, you're going to come down like this. Okay. Now that leads us to another important aspect. This pillow on the top of your head, if it's way up like this, you're going to get a kink in your neck. Likewise, if it's way flat, then you're going to be tucked down like that. Your, your neck is not going to be in alignment. So you want to make sure you get a, a pillow that's going to basically keep your neck in alignment. So now for the legs, these are just, you know, basic pillows. Um, you want to get one that is long enough so that it's going to go from your knees to your ankles. Oftentimes I see this, I see someone put a pillow between their knees. Okay. 
And they're like, yay, I did it. And it feels kind of good. But what they don't realize is when your ankle is touching itself, it's torquing your hip. And then once that happens, it's torquing your back. So yes, this is somewhat helpful and it does help a little bit to keep your knees in line, but and your hips in line. But the moment that your ankles are not like separated, they're actually going to torque your hip, which torques your back, which eliminates what we're trying to accomplish in the first place. So I always make sure that people put the pillow started at your knee and then put the other one on top, okay? So you can see here that I've got my knees separated, my, now my ankles are separated, and it feels super comfy. Now, the other pillow is gonna go right on my chest, and I'm basically gonna do this, okay? So I'm gonna be like this, and from here, I may not be able to complete this video because uh, I'm super comfy, all right? It, it's, it literally takes off the pressure of your lower back when you're just like this. This feels amazing, amazing. And what's funny is my wife, when I got married, she, she found out that I slept with three pillows. And before we got married, she's like, Sean, I hope you don't expect me to sleep with three pillows. I said, uh, you don't need to. I mean, you can... You can do what you'd like to do. I mean, you can try it, see if you like it. And then now, so she tried. And now, anytime we go to like a hotel, she can't sleep without it. I have to give her my other pillows because she's like, I can't sleep. So she has to have those pillows because it feels so good. So this is the technique. This is the position that does the best. It's keeping our shoulders, our, our um, forearms, Basically, our elbows, our shoulders, our hips, our knees, and our ankles in line. And with this, I'm going to sleep. So, Now, as amazing as that technique is for eliminating back pain for many people, it won't eliminate it for everyone. I realize that. But keeping that spine in alignment is certainly going to help improve your pain. And in many cases, it will eliminate it. And that's gonna bring about better sleep. Better sleep, better rest. Better rest and sleep, better balance. Better balance, no falls. We don't wanna have falls. That's how we go backwards. We don't want anything like that. Speaking of falls, if you want more tips and training on how I teach people to prevent falls, you can find that in the link in the description below. And if you want more videos just like this one to help you learn how to move better and stay independent to enjoy your life, Click the subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next video.